Welcome to Bigfoot Adventures. Have you ever had a Bigfoot sighting? If you have and you don't want to let anybody know that it was you that saw them or you're afraid to tell your story because you're afraid of you being made fun of, I'd be glad to tell your story for you. All you have to do is email me your story at bigfootadventures411 at gmail.com. Let me know what you want me to say, what you don't want me to say. And I can put your story out there so other people can hear about it without you being identified. Hi, welcome to Bigfoot Adventures. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be telling you my stories. I have seen Bigfoot twice and I'm going to tell you when I saw him and where and show you the locations. And also, um, this all started for me in 2012 when I was mountain biking and found footprints. Um, I thought they might exist, but I wasn't sure until I saw one. So come with me and listen to my story. So this is my Bigfoot story. Back in 2012, I had had some back surgery and I was on the way to my parents' house and I thought, well, I'm gonna stop and ride my mountain bike in the woods for a little bit so I could get back in shape. Well, I had been riding a little while and I had a little bit of a climb and concerned that my back wasn't quite healed yet, I pulled off the trail at the top of the hill um, to rest because I was afraid somebody might come up behind me and I didn't want to be in their way. So I got off the trail slightly and I was sitting there drinking water and I just happened to look down and when I looked down I noticed all these huge footprints everywhere and they look like barefooted footprints and I had no idea how they would have gotten where they were because it was off the trail. It wasn't like where somebody would be walking around really. And I kept hearing a lot of stomping and I kept thinking that must be pigs or something in the distance. Um, but I kept looking at these prints and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take some pictures because these are just really, really big. So I started taking pictures of them and I, you know, as I was leaving the area, I felt like I was watched. It, it just, I had an eerie feeling about the whole area. Well, I showed the prints to my parents when I got to their house and my dad said, oh, those look like Bigfoot prints. And I said to him, do you believe in Bigfoot? And he goes, no, not really, but I hear a lot about it and maybe there is something. So I thought about it and I decided, okay, I'm gonna call somebody about this if I can find someone. So I went online and I found the BFRO. Um, that's a Bigfoot research organization. So I reached out to them, I showed them my pictures and it turned out that they were very interested and they met me in the place that I found the prints and we walked the area and we talked about it and I thought it was very, very interesting. But, you know, I still didn't know if they really exist. So, you know, I just let it go. It was in the back of my head and I didn't really think about it much. Then in 2016, I drove out west and got on a cruise and went to Alaska. Now on the way back, I drove home from from uh, Washington State all the way to Florida by myself in a van that I rented. And it was my first taste of traveling alone in, in a van and camping, you know, doing car camping. And I thought, I really kind of like this. So, you know, I drove all the way across the United States. I saw some beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I got back to uh, Florida and I stopped in Chiefland to see a friend. And it was after I left her house in Chiefland that I came, you know, I came down this road in Brooksville. And that's when I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw it stand up, walk across the road behind me. And then I looked and I saw like the, you know, a, a hill where cars were crashed in. And I saw it run into the pine forest side of the road. So these next stories you're gonna see are, are um, this story and also 
where I saw it in Ocala with a group of researchers. Okay, in 2016, this is the road I was driving down when I saw a cross. Here, I could see it crossing across the road in my rearview mirror. And as I watched it cross the road, I could see it cr like cars cresting this hill, and it actually looked it across the road in my rearview mirror as the cars crested this hill. Okay, right over here is where the creature was crouched down and I didn't see him when I went by. And then I was going down this road and in my rearview mirror, that's when I saw him and he was crossing this road. And when the cars crested that little bit of a hill up there, he booked it right into there. So right over here, behind here is a swampy area. And I also heard that there's a dump back there somewhere. So um, he, he must have been like crouched down and then started to cross the road after I passed. And after I passed, I saw the cars crest in that little hill. And I looked back in my rearview mirror and he booked it into these woods. And you know, I thought about going back, but I was a little scared. I was by myself and it was right at sunset. So that's, that's my sighting. So that's what it looked like, but it was a lot clearer when he walked across that road. So this is the area that the creature came from. And I'm, I'm going to say Bigfoot because that's what I saw. And um, this, this over here is all swampy. My, my uh, camera's not focusing right, but that's all swampy. And that's where he came from. And I heard that way out there, there's a, there's a city dump. So he could have been coming from that area as well. But that's where he came from and then he went into that pine forest that I showed you across that road. And he waited till I passed before he crossed that road. This eight foot tall fence with a barbed wire on top, that went up after my sighting. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, if they know something's out here or what, but they're trying to keep something from, from uh, going across. They heard us there coming. Is. There is. There, oh, I see him. Look. He's, he's right he's there. He's right there. Where? Right there. Are you guys messing with me or something? No. No. no, no Seriously, no. guys? Yes. Yes.